Murph says, I suppose immaturity does have its drawbacks. Murph says, there's nothing like a little hypocrisy to start the day out right. Orange juice and hypocrisy. Michelangelo was better at painting walls than anybody who ever lived. Or any caveman who ever lived. Yesterday's veteran. A veteran of yesterday. Murph says, the Grim Reaper. Mr. Grimm, come back later, Mr. Grimm. I ain't got time for you right now. <laughs> Murph says, I ask so little out of life, and that's exactly what I get. So, uh, the character writes a, a self-improvement book, a how-to book called uh, Ignoring Satan, The Key to Happiness. Murph says, perfection or nothing. That should be my motto, but it's not. In the world of Murph the taxi driver, every day is casual Friday. Murph writes a, a book, the opening line is, uh, his balls clanged against his thighs when he walked. That's a tough guy. Murph says, Death always has to be a big Broadway production. It can't be just like turning off a light switch. It has to be like a, a car accident or a shooting or exploding rocket ship or a long, drawn-out disease. It can't be just like turning off a light switch. Plus says, uh, the psychiatrists had me nailed before I was even born, or they had me figured out before I was even born. For instance, I once opened up a book on abnormal psychology and it was like reading my own biography. Doctors and choreographers agree. She looks like a platypus. Murph says, uh, I don't know what the connection is between sex and sanity, but most of the nuns I ever met were insane. Murph says, a little bit of purgatory never hurt anybody. <laughs> <laughs>